to, then it starts to go. So there's like the mid range is there, but no torque. The shitty part is, if I want to accelerate quickly, I can't because I try to like go left right here and there's a bunch of cars coming. Like I can't accelerate very well at, at all on Eco. I mean, you can tell right now. Look at this. Watch, watch me. See? Oh God, I would have died right there. See that, guys? <laughs> What's going on people? It's your boy Mason Jagat. We're out here in Mill Creek, Washington. We're gonna do a range test today. And today we're gonna to do that with the Talaria Sting R. Trying to start it up, turning the bike on, Talaria Sting R. It says waiting right there. I don't know if you can see that. Start button's over here on the right hand. Uh, we're gonna do eco mode today. Eco mode is supposed to give us the most amount of range and we're gonna start We're at a brand new bike right here 42 miles on the odometer 100% charge. Let's go Except we're gonna have to uh, Figure out where we want to go. We haven't decided yet. So What's nice about this bike is we can go up and on curbs so Everything should be ready to go. Hopefully we don't get a flat, because that would suck. But uh, here we go. Stock everything right now. Um, what I've noticed a lot about this bike after trying out the stock Suron, and just in comparing that really, the eco mode on a stock Suron is a little bit quicker off the line. Uh, what I do like about this bike a lot though, is how accurate the speedometer is. Uh, when I put the GPS on here, it seems to be pretty neck and neck, which is nice. Yeah, this doesn't have the same, uh, it's got more of a mid-range, I guess, in comparison to the uh, Suron X stock. So, that's the only downfall. Hopefully it doesn't rain on my ass too badly here, because I don't like the rain. So we do got a spare battery here. Spare battery and a full 256 gigabytes of storage. And uh, I picked something, I picked a different brand this time. Hopefully it can handle all the 4K. Hope you guys can hear me okay, cause uh, it's a little windy. A little windy uh, compared to most days. Uh, I do got the new rider bag on today, and uh, it's, what I love about it is its visibility. I'd like to go ride on the street, but right now, man, I'm on eco mode, so I'm trying to conserve as much battery. I don't think I'll be. Uh, keeping up with cars the same way I'd like to because I'm not going to be in sport mode. So we're going to try to get away with riding on sidewalks today. Uh, kind of inter intermix it with regular roads. Oh man, this puddle is always, always an issue. As you can tell, I'm a princess, pavement princess. I actually don't like water or mud. <laughs> if I had another bike to just thrash, then I'd buy a much or pretty yeah pretty much would just uh would do that <clears throat> i guess i could get in the bike lane but the shitty thing about the bike lane is there's always like rocks and dirt and a whole bunch of other crap in there and... oh by the way i live in washington state we're in uh basically seattle we're like 20 minutes north of seattle 25 maybe uh, in a place called mill creek washington <clears throat> so yeah we're on this thing don't want to get any flats. Otherwise, gonna have to figure out a different way to get home. Try to obey the law as much as possible. 
I did talk to a cop the other day and see it has like no torque. <laughs> it's like it waits for it. Uh, it's like super linear, I should say. I shouldn't say there's no torque. I mean, there's really no torque, but it's really linear. Like it gets you going and then like it's, then it starts to go. So there's like the mid range is there, but no torque. Uh, obviously no real top end. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I wish they could uh, match it up closer to the Suron. Where the, where the best part is, is where all the torque's at, that beats the Suron, is the uh, mode, sport mode's where it's at. That thing will, I never, I'm pretty good about riding motorcycles and how things are with more torque, but this one I caught me off guard on one of the races I did with uh, Dobo. And uh, it literally like lifted off the ground. I'm really good about rolling on the throttle. So that surprised me. All right, so we're gonna have to go around this. Woo! God, I hate that noise. It's like flat city. Right, we're gonna try to like, try to get out 99, I guess. We're gonna go to Seattle. Hopefully it doesn't rain on my ass. I checked the weather earlier and it said single digits, like 5%, 6% chance of rain. That's chance of not like, well, we'll see. So I'm gonna try to get over. Got my new little dinky mirror. I don't know if you guys can see that on the side. I did not mean to do that. So the, she, the shitty part is, if I want to accelerate quickly, I can't because I try to like go left right here and there's a bunch of cars coming. Like I can't accelerate very well at, at all on eco i mean you can tell right now look at this watch watch me see oh god i would have died right there see that guys <laughs> i need it in like a sport or yeah so once again sir on x has the win on that more torque on eco mode just so you guys know try to give as much information as possible about the comparisons or just talk about the Talaria in general i absolutely love Talaria in every single way Everything seems to be bigger and better. Um, if you look at the forks, they're much thicker in general for the forks. Uh, the motor's bigger. It can handle the current better for the electricity to pass. Um, you got a wider space to fit and accommodate wider tires. We're gonna go up here since sidewalk's blocked off. Yeah, it still has get up and go, but it doesn't really hit until the mid-range. It's kind of an interesting uh, process. So uh, we did start off with 100% right now because of those hills. Actually, a matter of fact, we still got 100%. I didn't charge this fully until it uh, shut off on me. So it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Wow, I'm surprised. Wow, that's really good. Oh, obviously when I said bigger is better. Uh, more battery capacity. We're at a 45 amp hour battery here. Stock, we're on, I wanna say 35 amp hour. Um, the upgraded one that I had before when I first got the bike on the Suron X, that's the upgraded battery at 38 amp hour. That's just the battery capacity and how many battery cells are in there. It's just like more, but uh, this has 45, guys. It's awesome. But yeah, I figured I'd do a real range test right now. I'm fat and I'm at like two, 210 maybe. <clears throat> so, Time to lose some weight. <laughs> but regardless of the fact, we're doing this range test today and see what it's really supposed to be at. Cause I've seen some stuff off uh, Luna Cycle. They said it was only like 40 miles on Eco. And I'm like, yeah, that's probably like trying to force every every single like throttle pull like this the whole time. Uh, so I'm gonna do it like, try to make it more real world. like slow it down and go and not always go 30 but see right now I'm at 28 um, hovering average probably around like 20 miles per hour to 28 it's gonna fluctuate and I'm on a lot of hills and some flats and downhills so I noticed in that video they're in California and it's mainly flat roads which is a good good way to do comparison but we're out here in Seattle so I know most of you guys are gonna not have perfect flats all the time so this will be a good representation of that so i think i'm gonna go this way uh 
might be it might be safer we'll see the name of the game is to get get out there and get home one piece I think I'm gonna do Seattle uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to do like a get there then get out kind of thing so like 50% back and or 50% there and 50% back that's what I'd like to do because I didn't bring a charger with me. Uh, as a matter of fact, I only bring some snacks. The car behind me is patiently, uh, patiently waiting, so I'm gonna get over to the bike lane, I guess. Looks like it's only getting me to like 28, 29. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see my phone at all. Uh, we're gonna go to Google, type in Seattle. Here. Start, all right. So Seattle Center is exactly 18 miles from where we're, where we're at right now. And we're at 95% battery. Oh God, this linear power scares the crap out of me. It's not torquey enough. The bike life. All right, so we were in Mill Creek. Now we're in Alderwood area, which is basically like Linwood. Try not to die. <laughs> Good car right there. So dark. Get up this hill. I had more torque, but I don't. It's going 24 up this hill. Oh, we're gonna get off the road here in a minute. It says 25 minutes to get there, but I don't know if that's accurate because I'm in a regular. <laughs> I don't even know who that was. Trying to get to a safe place. This is actually a really populated area. All right, so looking at the how much battery percent we have is 94%. Trying to make this thing as accurate as possible. Wish I would have started this from the very beginning on the Google Maps. I just wasn't actually thinking about it. All right, so we'll probably go into the Alderwood Mall on that sidewalk right over there. Oh, this is what it normally looks like, guys. More months out of the year than we'd like to. I'm gonna take a little mini right this way. Get on the sidewalk because it's a little bit Chico mode today. Everyone's going to the mall. All right, let's try to find this trail. A little bit of a ways, like it's on the other side of that light, I think as far as I remember. Yeah, I'm really curious how this is gonna, oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull one of these numbers. Chocolate. And the trail should be like right here. <laughs> right on that side. Oh yeah, trail. It's so much safer now, <laughs> all that cars in the way. 16 miles away, guys. All right, we're gonna try my best to make it on eco mode. If I get into like a, some crazy traffic, I might use sport maybe a couple times, we'll see. Or like a dog chasing me, I'm screwed. Oh, look at that bird. On this range test, I don't know what they did. I, I wasn't even paying attention fully, but I wasn't sure if they, uh, on the Luna cycle, YouTube channel <clears throat> if uh, the regen was turned off because right now I think the best way to do this range test to be honest is to have no regen so when you go downhill or you're just on the flats you can coast as long as you need to which is nice I feel like uh, the coastability on this thing on the Talaria is so much better you can coast longer than the Suron X that's what I've uh, that's what I've noticed. But yeah, we are still in Linwood. Ah, oh, shit, no more sidewalk. Oh, I need to clean the brakes. Wait, 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 wait. Damn, there's like nowhere to... That's, that's whack. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wait, go this way. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't know how that works, but okay. Uh, what? <laughs> is there a way to get over? No idea. This is weird. 
This is what I mean, guys, when there's no torque. <laughs> Gosh. Ah. Yeah, I'll go this way, I guess. I'll get with the cars. <clears throat> Money! Money! About 14 miles out from Seattle Center. Uh, we're at 87% battery. There's so many cars that haul ass going like 60, even though it's like a 45, 50. So it's like you want to stay clear because everyone in this area is pretty shitty. They're driving like their anger and all that other shit is pretty bad. Pardon the brakes, guys. A double and the boys took this bike out for the first time on dirt and uh, the rotors are a little dry or the, the brakes in general are a little bit dried up. So and I forgot to I needed to put brake cleaner on there or whatever you want to call it and I haven't done that yet. So I'll have to do that later on the way back maybe. Um, so we're at a 86% per, battery. Alright, time to go. sharp little turn turny world so we're just coasting at 16 miles per hour 15 we're not even using throttle at all so that's good save save some range baby save some range a little mild little downhill mild evergreen 99 evergreen way highway 90 headed southbound wait to cross the highway 99 yep you heard him it's uh 12 48 right now p.m so I keep thinking it's like, the hell you want, bro? Oh, God, it's so windy. It's like really bad. It's like fairy kind of windy. So I'm hopefully you guys can hear me talk. See, I'm only using throttle when I need it. I'm trying to like conserve as much as I can. Sounded terrible. So 14 miles away, we're at 85%. Whew. It's almost one o'clock. I have not even had my second cup of coffee yet. We are still in the like shoreline, about to be shoreline Edmonds area still. Kind of like the south end of Edmonds, I guess. Uh, we're at 82% and we're about 12 miles away. So it's pretty good. Cross. Well, this sucks. There's not like a perfect little area to cross right here. I'm gonna have to. I guess I could go this way, then up and around. We are officially in shoreline now by the Fred Meyer, and yeah, we're at 79%. As far as this goes, uh, it turned off on me. Uh, we are at 11 miles out from our destination. So let's see if we can make it. The goal is to get there by 60% uh, or higher. What's gonna happen? Oh my God, there's a bird. Look at that bird. Do you see, baby? That's how you know we're getting closer to Seattle, Seattle. <laughs> Cause you gotta see more uh, EUCs and electric vehicles and electric bikes and electric scooters and electric everything else and one wheels especially and e-skate every once in a while. I just came across this uh, little tobacco shop and I feel like you should take a photo or I should take a photo of this little place. It's kind of cool. You one that's uh, sideways. I was gonna do this and then it turned out to be a little bit too long. So we're gonna do this. <laughs> we'll find another place to eat, I swear. 8.7 miles out from our destination, we're at 75% battery. So I guess 60 from my guesstimation from where we're at right now is gonna be the spot. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn around and go back. Got yeah, Kid Valley too. <laughs> So guys, yeah, when we hit 60%, I don't, I don't want to take the risk. I don't want to take the risk of, uh, you know, getting stuck. 50% might not be that accurate, and this thing is going to slow down hella. So we're going to do that to keep it safe. Guys, okay, so we are uh, still in Aurora. We're 7.9 miles away, so still like basically 8 miles. 
We're at 73% battery on the Tularia R. Alright guys, still in shoreline. I'm about to get on the sidewalk. We're creeping up to 60. We still got like 10% away from that, but we're at 72% uh, right now. And uh, 7.1 miles away from our destination, which is supposed to be Seattle Center. Unless I change it last minute and just put myself somewhere in Seattle. So, we'll see. Oh my god, it's still cold. That wind's breezy. It's Chris Breezy. <coughs> oh, it's so cold. I gotta go. much going on in Seattle. <laughs> Got sugars, that's where it's at. Got sugar Frito. <laughs> What's your name? It's hella loud bro. Goodness, it's so freaking cold and windy. Windier than a moose Leave me. in my life. Shit, they're dogging. Alright, we're coasting, we're, we're coasting, we're coasting, we're coasting. And we're at uh, seven miles away from our destination. And 71% battery, not too bad, not too bad. Looks like it's gonna be closer. All right guys, a little bit of an update. We're still in Aurora. Oh my goodness, it's freezing. And yeah, we're at 78% and 6.4 miles away. How's it going? Good, good. How you liking that Senna? Uh, hey. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, my wife and I we ride a lot. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Is it pretty clear on that one? Yeah. Oh, you can music yeah. on that? Okay. That's sweet, man. Yeah, yeah, that's good so you can still kind of keep aware of what's going on. Yeah, I looked into it. It's just a little bit pricey right now for my... Uh... Yeah, the only problem is, is pretty much line of sight. Okay. So if you go around a corner... Yeah. ...and somebody's behind or ahead of you, you might lose a little bit. Oh, like the Bluetooth connectivity? Yeah. It's like mild though, right? It's like super mild. Yeah. That's cool though. Yeah, it works really well. That's awesome. Alright guys, we made it in Seattle. We're at Green Lake right now on these new paved like bike trail thingies. Uh, it's nice to have that just to be clear from cars, you know. We're 26 right now on the flat. Little update, we're at 65%. I think we're about to turn around here in a minute. We're uh, 3.7 miles away from our destination, but I think that's going to be okay because I didn't bring a charger. 
Uh, right now we're at Green Lake. We are in North Seattle. There's the Kid Valley. You guys are familiar with if you ever followed my channel before. That's where we used to stop at all the time with all the fellas, the Double Moto and William Hung. Well, Splices, if you didn't know. So we're gonna get a bite to eat. I think we might even film this backpack that I'm wearing right now, which is the Ryder bag that they just were so kindly to send to me. Love you guys, got an awesome bag. I love the reflectivity. I definitely feel more comfortable on my ride. I feel like more people will see me with the new red color, reflective colorway out on the streets of Seattle. So shout out. It's like the longest four-way intersection that I've ever like come across. All right. to our destination we got the bike here with the alarm and we're over here in green lake washington and we're out here to get some food we're going to continue this vlog man it's freezing though we're at like 60 i think we're at 65 percent something like that so we'll go ahead and continue after i get done eating by the way if you don't know right here is a new rider bag that i will be reviewing probably on my tiktok channel give you guys some uh, well-known features about it all right, guys, we're at 65%. We're going to hit start. Back in eco mode. All righty. See if we can... Oh, that's 23 minutes away. That's three miles away. Damn, that's far. All right, guys. <coughs> It is too cold. All right, guys. I was going to visit Splice's ass, but it is cold, so I must leave. <laughs> must leave, bro. All right, guys. We're headed back. So, I mean, we made it to Seattle. We made it to Green Lake area. And it's time to head back. Oh. Okay, 25 miles away. So, damn. Okay, that's pretty far out. I didn't realize all that. Whew. 63% battery left before empty. I know it starts getting weird around 10% battery, so that's like no. I've done this one other time on the Suron X, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's like pretty risky because uh, I know there's like a weird way you gotta turn it back on and all this other shit, so hopefully that's enough time. Easy. Yeah, that regular biker is fast. Seattle, Green Lake, we're trying to make it home. Let's see. Let's go this way, this is the spliceless way. It showed me like a long time ago. There's a curve. In a quarter mile, sharp right onto Banner Way Northeast. Oh, there's a hill, range killer. Alright guys, we're in Spice's neighborhood. North gate. In 600 feet, turn left onto Roosevelt Way Northeast. And John T's. <laughs>
Alright guys, we have 54, yeah, 54%. I got all my in the army, I'm a little bit of a hedometer, slightly raining, we're at 18 miles away from home. I guess that when I get to a going up, 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 going up. It's nice to have this battery, uh, not use the throttle anyway. Go downhill. Turn right onto Northeast 165th Street. Alright guys, this is the part where I said I'd probably use sport mode. Because there's no real sidewalks. I mean, there kind of is, but this, this, this is sketchy, so I turned it up. Sport. But we're definitely going fast. And we're at 50% exactly. And we're 15 miles away from home. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So hot in! Then turn left onto Burke Gilman Trail. Turn left onto Burke Gilman Trail. Going 50 miles an hour! 50 miles per hour! Put it back on Eco. I'll be damned if I ran out of range, you know what I'm saying? Right now, yeah, 49%. It's not, it's not that bad, but it's not that great either. So we'll see what really happens. I got a detour though. Continue on Burke Gilman Trail for one and a half miles. All right, guys, 46%. We are in Kenmore, 13 miles away from home. Let's do it, guys. Woo -woo. All right, guys, so we're back. Get headed back. Oh, it's freezing. Headed back right now, and it's 39% is where we're at on the battery. We've got 6.6 .6 miles to go to get to home. We're out here on Nico. Alright guys, just a little update. We are in town. We're about 3.6 miles away from my house. And we're at 16%. So we are almost home free. We gotta put this thing on a charger and we'll be good to go. And I'm still cold. Oh my god. Oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Why are you so close, baby? Chocolate. Damn. Yeah, 16%, guys. It says you'll be there in 19 minutes, it says. I don't know if that's true, or 18 minutes. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Seattle Hill Road. All right, guys, we made it. We're back. Oh, my gosh, only at 33% on this battery. I forgot to charge it. Anyways, so we're back in town, and let me just show you guys what we're at for this eco mode test. We're on the Chalaya Sting R, so we're gonna go check this out. Turn the key. We're at 9% battery. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, we're on 9% battery. We're back in Mill Creek. That's perfect. That's gonna be the end of the vlog. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. If you have any questions, please comment down below or anything you wanna know.